Hi, over the next five minutes, I'm gonna take you through a quick five minute demo of Oracle Database running on UCS X series with local NVMe storage. Here's the solutions architecture. We have a single X series chassis. The chassis can hold up to eight of the X210C blade servers. Each blade server can hold up to two Intel Xeon third generation processors and up to six NVMe drives. The chassis itself is connected to two of Cisco's fourth generation fabric interconnects to allow for connectivity to the data center as a whole. The complete solution, of course, is managed by Cisco Intersight, which is Cisco's cloud-based systems management utility to provide proper health status monitoring information, downloading of security patches, drivers, and related activity. Here you see we have a single X210C in a healthy state. And we're gonna look at some of the details. There are two Intel processors, uh, 8358 processors in the configuration. We have a single network adapter, a QLogic adapter, it appears. And we also have three uh, storage controllers in the configuration, and here are the details as represented. We're gonna take a look at the physical drives. We can see that the one server we're looking at has six NVMe drives in the configuration, which is the maximum number that X210C can house. And now we're gonna look at the service profile. The service profile it defines the personality of the blade itself and defines exactly how it should be set up to run Oracle database in this case, utilizing Cisco's best practices as defined in our Cisco validated designs. We can see the connectivity here and the exact MAC addresses and the MAC pools from which they reside as part of the server, uh, server profile and that the system remains in a healthy state. Now, from a solutions architecture standpoint, we can kind of dive into the uh, database logical layout here. And you can see here that we have the six NVMe drives that I have pointed out. We are also utilizing an Oracle utility called ASM. ASM provides for a redundancy and two-way mirroring, meaning in this case that with the six NVMe drives that are running the Oracle 19C database, that if we were to have a drive failure, ASM would be able to drop out that particular NVMe and allow you to continue running the database on the five remaining healthy NVMe drives. So it's a way to reduce the impact of a component failure with a utility called ASM that is of no cost to you as the customer. And we think that this is the best way to be able to handle the small to medium databases that would typically run on a single X210C blade server. Now we're gonna set up the Oracle 19C Enterprise Edition of the database. And it's just starting to boot up here on the system. And we're just uh, getting the database set up. It has recognized that there are six drives in the configuration. And we're gonna use Oracle SwingBench as the workload tool for today's demonstration. And we're gonna kick that off here. Now the database uh, itself is gonna generate a series of workloads. And as you can see, we can run the user count from 32 users up to 256 users in the configuration. And we're looking to generate the total number of IOPS. The database itself is up to five terabytes in size. And you can see that we're able to sustain a linear scalability as we move forward. And you can see the dark blue is the reads and the light blue is the physical writes to each of the drives as we move forward. And you can see the ability is pretty much linear. Now, Oracle SwingBench is a tool that's used in the Oracle uh, benchmarking and customer briefing centers as a representative workload to exercise the Oracle database. There are a number of different user profiles that you could set up. In today's demonstration, we're looking to maximize the number of IOPS uh, to show the raw power of the X-Series chassis with the X210C blade server. And you can see that we just kicked off the workload and already we've generated over a million IOPS on the single blade that we are in fact testing. Um, by doing this, we're able to show the raw scalability in the workload that the blade server can generate itself. And you can see we're easily ramping up transactions, good linear scalability as we move through. 
the uh, transactions per second are up to about 39,000 transactions per second with over 2 million IOPS being generated and we continue to add additional workload. Now you can see that we are using all six drives in the system. And as we bring up a chart here, you're gonna see that the next to last column where it's entitled SVCTM, you'll see it's 0 0.01 throughout all six drives. This is an indication that we are reading and writing from each drive simultaneously at the same read rate, uh, which is ideal uh, for be able to ensure maximum performance for the Oracle database as it is a cl classically archered architected database. Now, in addition, if you look at the number of IOPS we're generating, we can do about 6 million IOPS per X210C blade. And when you have eight blades in the configuration, that equates to about 48 million IOPS. Now, granted, your mileage will vary depending on how you set up your database. And this is a, a workload that we have set up here to drive that number of IOPS. Um, I also want to point out that the ASM, of course, is being utilized here to make sure that we can minimize any component failure of an NVMe drive, thereby allowing the other five drives to continue running, and that ASM utility is a no-cost utility to you as the customer. So it's an ideal way to be able to maintain access to the data, even though um, you may have lost one particular drive in the configuration. It's really ideally suited for the small to medium databases you would run on this particular blade. Now, here's the link to the white paper. It is a paper that is, combines all the um, testing data that we've shared with you today, much more details on its setup. And it really does give you a full understanding of how to deploy a high performance standalone Oracle database running on Oracle 19C on the X-Series chassis.